So we're going to begin by sectioning the hair on the parietal ridge of both sides, you, the side you're going to part from and the side that you're not. I take it around the back in a horseshoe shape and isolate the entire thing. Then I just kind of bend the hair up to see how it responds, what it will do. Now I'm going to create an underneath base that's going to help me to have some lift. So I'm looking to see how it's bending, how it'll shape for me. Uh, I will even add a little bit of hairspray with it as I want to change the texture a little bit as I go. But basically it's a way of me being able to see, hey, how's the hair going to do here? Now I'm going to take from the top of each ear across to the uh, each side, bring it forward and have my model hold her hair for just a moment while I take the section and the last part of the horseshoe shape in the crown area. I then just kind of work it with my hands. I'm not going to bother to brush it out or anything. But then I begin by tying it in a knot, then another knot. And this is, this is the same technique you see me doing when I'm doing the uh, up hair with knots technique. I'll do it, put in uh, as many knots as I can get and then I will spray it with hairspray. But I'll put them in there nice and tight. Then I will take and twist them around in on each other after I've sprayed them so that they'll hold. If you don't spray them, they won't hold. So, yeah, so spray them. I'm using Kenra Volume Spray. Then I twist it in on itself, and that will help me to uh, hold it. Now I'm taking that same section and I'm uh, twisting it in on itself till it starts to wrap up into a nice little Benetou knot that has knots in it. That's going to provide for me a really firm base with which to work. Yeah, I take bob pins, I go across the base, and then I lock across those pins as well. So really easy to do, not tricky, not difficult at all. You can see how I've got a ton of hair there now I can now work with that I can, uh, I can tie knots to or I can uh, pin the hair to. Now as my base is secure, I'm going to take the French section here. I'm going to use a paddle brush and smooth it out. Now you could backcomb this to create more height if you wanted to. I don't this particular time. I want to keep it really simple. I just take my paddle brush and brush through it. If I have a bunch of little extra hairs flying around or static, I'll use a little hairspray to refine the uh, texture. Now taking that top section and bringing it back, I'm going to draw it all the way just behind my uh, Benetou knot and I'm going to tie a knot into it. Now the intention here is so that I can manipulate the hair up. So I take it back, I spray it so that it'll hold. The knot won't hold if you don't spray them, right? And then I'm going to take and just get all the little baby hairs in there. Then I'm going to push the hair up so I get a nice bit of lift and I want to accentuate or over accentuate the lift for this particular design. Remember this is not ponytail hair. This isn't something you're you're seeing all over the place. This is something new to do with your hair. The advantage to it is that it removes so much weight and length off of the sides and back. It's a much cooler style to do. So very easy, very very modern. Hey, can I take just a moment to uh, thank you for watching this video, taking the time to watch this, and ask a favor. I, I'd really appreciate it if you would take and, and thumbs up on this video, and, and that way it'll get shared with other people, and it'll help this channel to grow. And that kind of interaction is, is what YouTube is looking for, and so or whatever format you're seeing this video, uh, that's what they're looking for, is some interaction. So if you do that, I'd surely appreciate that. I truly would. Hope you're enjoying this video. There's a whole lot more. In fact, right up to the end, I'm going to keep putting in different tips, tricks, and, and things to uh, kind of help you to learn more and more about your hair. If you have any questions and you want to see uh, something specific for your hair type, just in the comment section, let me know what you'd like to see and I will get on it as soon as I possibly can. Thank you, I appreciate your time and let's get back to that video. Caitlin is now collecting the hair and uh, combing it with her fingers, directing all of it back and slightly to the left of our model's head. Uh, both her left and our left, of course, since we're facing the mirror. But anyway, what she's doing is she's bringing it over so it has a slightly asymmetrical feel to it. At that point, when she's got the hair collected the way she wants, she's going to do a herringbone braid going from the slightly asymmetrical collection of the hair all the way down into the back.
getting to the end of the braid, what Caitlin's going to do is take a hair band and a bob pin, a hair pin rather, excuse me, and she's going to affix the hair pin to the hair using the rubber band. This is going to allow her allow her a base with which she can put a uh, wrap the hair around the yellow rubber band, run it through the hairpin, pull the hairpin down, and that will completely hide both the yellow rubber band and anything else that might indicate how it's being held together. Then to soften the effect a little bit more, Caitlin goes and pulls the sections apart a little bit, maybe ruffles them up a little bit with her fingers, just softening the braid so that it doesn't have a real tight feel to it. Pretty much a very smooth feeling, just softens it a little bit. Thank you. 